So here's how you use Google Forms in less than five minutes. So the first thing you wanna do is search for Google Forms in Google, open it up, and you'll be taken to this screen here. You'll see some templates at the top, as well as any other forms you've recently created at the bottom. And let's start from scratch. So let's open a blank form. So you wanna start by titling your form at the top, ideally giving it something that's a bit more fun and engaging. And then a description here, I'm gonna put in the name of our company, which is a socks company called Socks. Now with Google Forms, the second thing you'll see is that there's a box underneath, which is a template for your first question. So if you click on that, you'll see a few things pop up. You'll see where you insert the question, you'll see the type of question it is, and then you'll see your responses. You can then also say if you want it to be required or not at the bottom, as well as the ability to duplicate the question or to delete it. So let's go through these one at a time and show you how it works as we create this form. So the great thing about Google Forms is that it has AI embedded that will help you guide you through creating your form. So our first question we want to ask is, did you receive the socks as a gift? And you'll see suggestions below. So. It's a yes or no question, so we want to add yes and we want to add no. And straight away, we've got our first question created. Now we want to add our second question. And to do this, we're going to go to this little bar at the side and you'll see this plus says add question. So let's add our second question. Next, we want to know what kind of sock it was that they bought. So this is also going to be a multiple choice question. And the question is simply going to be, which of these socks did you get? And now because socks don't really have names, we're gonna use images here. And to do this, you can go to the right of your option and add image. And we're gonna upload them directly from our computer and import the sock image for each of the options. So now if we scroll to the top, we can see which of these socks did you get? And we've got a multiple choice question with four different options. Now we wanna add our next question. So we're gonna go back to the plus and hit that. And for this question, we're going to ask the net promoter score question, which quite simply, how likely is it that you'd recommend socks to a friend? And you can see that it's recognised the question and automatically changed it to being a linear scale. We want to use the net promoter score. So that means we have to change it from zero to 10 and, and add labels where zero is not at all likely and 10 is extremely likely. Now, this is a really important question for us. So we're going to make sure that this is answered by everyone who takes the survey. So we're going to make sure this is required. Then we're going to add yet another question. And this time we're going to make it a little bit more complex because we want to see how people rated it. So we're going to add a grid question. So the great thing about multiple choice grid is that it's a quick way to get lots of feedback. And what we want to do is find out how people scored the socks and various different attributes. So we're going to put down what's important for us at the Socks Sock Company. So I sped through that to save you having to watch me type everything in. But you can see at the top, we asked the question, how would you rate our socks on the following? On the rows, we've got these various different attributes we want to get their opinion on. And then in the columns, we've got whether they agree or disagree. And if you want to see how this will look like, just add your next question. It will automatically change that to the grid format as it will appear to the respondents. Next, our final question is, do we want to give people the opportunity to add their opinion that we may not have covered? So we want to add our open-ended question, which is going to be, do you have any suggestions for how we could improve our customer service? And again, Google Forms has picked up that this is going to be an open-ended question. Therefore, it's changed the question type to being a paragraph where people can add a long answer text. So there we have it, we've got the core questions of our customer satisfaction survey. Before we wanna send it out though, we maybe wanna change the colors. So you wanna to go to this palette at the top where you can customize your theme and you can either add a header if you want or simply change the color scheme. We're gonna change it to blue and we're gonna change our font to formal. Close that. What you wanna do before you send it out is just preview it. So go to the eye and there you can see an exact example of how it's going to appear to your respondents. All that's left is to send it out. So hit send and you're going to be given the option to either send it directly to your customers through through email. Click the link and you get the URL if you want to put it on your website or send it yourself through your own email provider. And then at the far right is the ability to embed it in your website. And that's it. The basics of Google Forms. Now, Google Forms is just one of the options out there. Typeform is also fantastic. You can see a link to that on your screen. It has a slightly better user interface, but it's a little bit more difficult to get started with. Also, if you want to know more about the Net Promoter Score, there's a link on your screen that you can click right now to find out more.